welcome to a mini episode of Master Mixology. In honor of National Moscato Day this May, let's take a look at the science behind our seasonal favorite. Moscato is a type of wine, specifically made from grapes of the musket family, hence the name. Musket grapes are grown all over the world and are believed to be one of the oldest grape families in history. They have very high levels of sugar but very low levels of acidity, leading to the sweet taste of the beverages made from them. To make Moscato, first the grapes are harvested and crushed to release their sugary juice. Then yeast is added to the mash and the mixture is left to ferment. The yeast feed on the sugars to produce alcohol. Once fermentation has completed, the sediment is racked or separated from the liquid. And in the case of sparkling Moscato, the wine gets carbonated with carbon dioxide gas. The different varieties of Moscato come from the different types of grapes used in the fermentation process, the inclusion of additives like fruit extracts, and whether or not the final product is carbonated. Moscato is generally fruity and airy and can easily be sipped on its own and it is also a favorite for liquid nitrogen wine slushies. If you want to put a fresh spin on your Moscato, try using it to make a sangria. We recommend a white bubbly Moscato paired with triple sec, sparkling water, orange and lime or lemon juice, and a mix of berries. Since it's just me this episode, I'll be showing you how to make a glass. But if you're serving a group or looking for some non-alcoholic alternatives, all the recipes can be found on our blog. For one drink, to a shaker, add four ounces of Moscato, one ounce of triple sec, two ounces of orange juice, and one ounce of lemon or lime juice. Shake and strain into a large glass with ice. Stir in berries and top with club soda. And now I'll sip for science. Mmm, that is good. It definitely tastes like summer is on its way. Thanks for tuning in for a mini episode of your favorite series. I'll see you next time on Master Mixology.